hi everyone very warm welcome to your channel in this video we are going to locally install this brand new yet another multi-modal large language model called as OS 1.6 JAMA 2 9 billion this model has already topped a lot of benchmarks and seems quite interesting so we are going to test it out if you look at its architecture that seems quite interesting too before we review it and install it let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a vm or gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus you can also get a coupon code from that description for 50 percent discount also they are running this hacktober 2024 this month so if you want you can submit llm generated text llm generated image or both from this page and you can win hundred dollars in free gpu compute credits i will be one of the judge and i'm so uh, looking forward to see your submissions there okay so let's go back to this architecture and see what is happening here so this OS 1.6 is a new architecture which has been designed to structurally align visual and textual embeddings for example in this one this top left figure a which says overall architecture shows the whole architecture of OVIS, which contains two embedding tables for visual and textual inputs whereas this b figure illustrates how a visual patch is first mapped to a probabilistic token and then this figure c demonstrates that the probabilistic token helps select multiple embeddings from the embedding table and output their weighted combination this always enhances high resolution image processing and it has been trained on a larger more diverse and higher quality data set and also refines the training process with direct preference optimization training following instruction tuning and there is a lot of other good stuff happening which you can check it out from their model page and i will drop the link to it in video's description let's go and try to get this thing installed so as you can see as usual i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and i have this gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram let me clear the screen next up let's create this conda environment with the name of ovis let's wait for it to get activated this is going to take a second or two and that is done let's install all the prerequisites which is going to take a couple of minutes as you can see that i am installing torch torch vision pillow and lot of other stuff all the prerequisites are done let's install and launch our jupyter notebook here so that we could download and play with the model in the browser environment so let's wait for it to get installed and activate it in the browser environment so the jupyter notebook is launched let's import all the libraries which we have installed and also grab this ovis model with the tokenizer the model has started downloading there are five shards of it let's wait for it to finish downloading so the model is now downloaded let's try to do the inference so in this one I, what i'm doing here is i'm just using this local image which is this one and i'm asking it describe the image i am formatting all the prompts converting the text into the tokenizer and then we are doing the inference with the model and we are providing some of the hyper parameters like we're not giving it any probabilities here that what should be the output and then we are printing the output here so let me run it and there you go look at the response here it says the image depicts a serene sunset seen in Australian savanna. That's cool. A large bright yellow sun is centrally positioned, casting a warm glow. And the reason why it has identified as Australian due to kangaroos, and it is saying there are three kangaroos silhouetted against a vibrant backdrop. One kangaroo is captured mid-leap, while the other two are standing, adding a sense of movement life to the scene. To the left, a solitary acacia tree. Exactly, this is acacia. And then above a flock of birds is seen flying in the formation, enhancing the scene of freedom and natural beauty. The composition effectively captures the essence of the Australian outback with its vivid colors and dynamic elements, creating a peaceful yet lively atmosphere. 
very very high quality response okay let's try to do the ocr with it so what i'm done is i have just asked the model to do the ocr of it and just give me the text so if you look at it looks pretty good to me yeah, because this text includes some of the uh, european languages not only english plus also some alphanumeric characters and you can see that it has uh, correctly reproduced the uh, umlauts on rapida and then some of the special characters the only thing which i could quickly check is that you see that there is this rapid but there are uh, two angular brackets here but it has just done one but so there are here and there little mistakes but all in all pretty good ocr i would say not bad at all okay let's try out uh, one more example in the next example i'm asking it to give me the time on the clock and i think that it has failed to do so it says the time on the clock in the image is 9 which is not correct at all the hour hand is pointing directly at the 9 and the minute hand is no nope, that's totally incorrect okay let's try out another one okay in the next example what i'm asking it to do is which location is this in the image and how can i get there from port player uh, this port player is in uh, nicobar and andaman islands so let's see it says that the image depicts the iconic Merlian statue and the Marina Bay Sands in Singapore. That is correct. And now it is telling us that, okay, take a flight from Port Blair to a major Indian city because Nicobar and those islands are under, uh, they're in India. So it is saying that go to first Chennai or Kolkata and then go to Singapore Changi Airport. Or you can even go through ferry or cruise. This is less common and i think they are just across the pond from each other anyway so it looks really cool amazing stuff and then it is as an added bonus it is also telling you how you can use a local transportation in singapore amazing stuff okay so let's try out one more okay so in the next example i'm asking it other than english which language is written in this image and what it says let's see if it is able to do that there you go, it says the language written in the image besides English is Hindi. The image provides translation of English phrases using Hindi such as about being translated to this. Amazing. I think ke bare mein, I think this is really cool. So if you're looking for another Hindi translation or any other translation or an OCR, maybe give it a go. And as I said earlier, you would need to make sure that your prompt engineering is right. That is really crucial for these vision models. If your prompt engineering is correct, then it will work like a charm. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm quite impressed by this model. It's not as good as a Pixtrol or I would say the recently released Llama 3.2, but still good enough. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.